Create Magic with Your Thoughts, inspired by Kate Corbin, written and published by Audible Aria. Kate Corbin is an author, life coach, and expert on the law of attraction. She is dedicated to helping individuals manifest their dreams and create fulfilling lives by aligning their thoughts and emotions with their desires. Through her writings, including magical musings on the law of attraction, and her coaching practice, Corbin offers practical guidance and inspiration, empowering people to tap into the limitless potential of the universe. Her work is known for its clarity, warmth, and accessible approach to spiritual principles, making her a trusted guide for those on a journey of personal growth and transformation. In this audiobook, I want to dive into Magical Musings on the Law of Attraction. This book is all about exploring how our thoughts, emotions and beliefs shape the reality we experience. Whether you're new to the Law of Attraction or have been practicing it for a while, this book offers a fresh perspective, blending practical advice with a little bit of magic. So, let's explore how we can harness this powerful law to manifest our desires and create the life we've always dreamed of. If you think you can do something or think you can't, you're right. Now think about a circus elephant is trained. When the elephant is just a baby and not very strong, its leg is tied to a wooden stake with a rope. At first, the baby elephant tries to escape, but the rope is too strong. Eventually, the elephant gives up and believes that it's impossible to break free. Years later, when the elephant has grown much bigger and stronger, many times its original size, it's still held back by the same small rope and wooden stake, even though the elephant is now powerful enough to easily pull the stake out of the ground, it doesn't even try. Why? Because it learned when it was young and weak that it couldn't break free. And now it believes that's still true. The elephant is trapped not by the rope, but by its own belief that it's powerless. In what ways are you like that powerful elephant, thinking you're weak and unable to change? Where in your life do you believe that you can't do something? The truth is, it's never true that you can't. You have incredible, unlimited power within you. The truth is, the power of the entire universe is a part of who you are. You can do anything that you truly believe you can do. So, how can you turn a limiting belief into an empowering one? The first step is to understand that a belief is just a thought you keep repeating to yourself. For example, if you want to believe that you can do the work you love and get paid well for it, you might have held yourself back because you didn't fully believe you could have what you truly desire. Using positive affirmations is a powerful way to pick thoughts that uplift and empower you instead of holding you back. Affirmations work best when they're stated positively, in the present tense, and with strong feelings behind them. And here's the thing. You don't need to believe these affirmations completely at first. With repetition... These positive thoughts will turn into beliefs, and those beliefs will eventually show up in your life as reality. I like to start affirmations with, I am so happy and grateful now that, and then fill in the blank. For example, using the earlier scenario, you could say, I am so happy and grateful now that I am doing the work I love. I am well paid for doing the work I love. I wake up every day excited to do what my heart desires. Your life is only limited by what you believe. If you've bought into the idea that life is full of struggle, that it's hard to get what you want, or that you should settle for less, know this. Your new empowering beliefs will free you from these limitations. Just like the elephant who believes it can't break free, your beliefs shape what you think you can or can't do. So make a commitment to yourself right now to think empowering, yes I can thoughts until yes I can become something you know deep inside. When you truly believe you can, you break free from the limitations of your old beliefs. You reclaim your power, your joy and your freedom. By choosing empowering beliefs, you open yourself up to the possibility of being, doing and having whatever you desire. This is where the magic of feeling good comes in. There's a deep connection between feeling good and feeling connected to God or Source. There are no strict rules in life, only a constant drive within you to feel good. Abraham Hicks I borrowed the idea of feeling good feeling God from Candice Pert, PhD, 
and her book Everything You Need to Know to Feel God. Some of you might recognise her from the movie What the Bleep Do We Know or her workshops with Hay House. Her concept of feeling God, feeling good, perfectly sums up the idea that feeling good and feeling connected to God are essentially the same thing. When you're feeling your best, when your vibration is high, you're most connected to source, God, or your inner being. The better you feel, the stronger this connection. On the other hand, when you're not feeling great, that connection weakens. Feeling good isn't just about physical or emotional well-being. It's also spiritual. As Adam Helfer puts it, if you're connected to the divine, you'll always feel fine. Many people question the importance of simply feeling good. They might say, I'll feel good once I get what I want. But the truth is, you have to feel good first. When you prioritize feeling good, you align with source. This alignment makes you a vibrational match to your desires, and those desires begin to manifest. Feeling good is not only a magnet for what you want, but is also the ultimate goal behind everything you seek, whether it's a job, a relationship, money, health, or anything else. At the core, what you really want is to feel good, to feel connected to God. At the end of the day, what people really want is to know how to feel good, and if you want to feel good, just love. Quote, If you had one goal, and that was to feel good, you would never again need to hear another word from anyone. You would live successfully and happily, and in a way of fulfilling your life's purpose ever after. Abraham Hicks Dr. Candice Pert's research brings more good news. Humans are naturally designed to experience pleasure because our brains have many receptors for bliss chemicals, especially in the frontal cortex. We are wired for pleasure. Bliss chemicals? How exciting! When you feel good or feel connected to God, you create a life that reflects those feelings. When you're in a state of joy and connection, you attract more circumstances that match that high vibration. If you have a strong desire to feel good and stay connected to God, you'll start making decisions based on whether they make you feel that way or not. When you make feeling good and connected your top priority, you'll live from a place of deep connection. My wish for you, dear friend, is to always feel good, feel God, to be connected to source, filled with happiness, peace, health, wealth, wisdom, fulfillment, inspiration, passion, enthusiasm, confidence, energy, appreciation and love. Since you're hardwired to experience pleasure, embrace it by loving yourself and others. Strive to feel as good and as connected to God as possible in every moment. Focus on the positive aspects of everyone and everything around you and savour every joyful experience. Start engaging with the magic of feeling good and feeling connected now. First, the magic of focus. It's as easy to create a castle as a button. It's just a matter of whether you're focused on a castle or a button. Abraham Hicks The most basic principle of the law of attraction is to focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. It sounds simple, but it's not always easy to do. If we could always focus on what we truly want instead of what we fear or dislike, we'd all be masters at manifesting our desires. Yet even though we know this, we often find ourselves focusing on problems, unpaid bills, fears about losing our job, our relationship, our health, or our appearance. The only difference between living a magnificent life and a depressed one is where you choose to focus your attention. What you focus on grows. Energy flows where your attention goes. Even the wisdom of the Jedi in Star Wars reminds us, your focus determines your reality. Focus involves thinking about, planning for, and visualizing your goals. But it also includes worrying, fearing, and resisting challenges. This means that if you focus on opportunities, you will attract more opportunities. On the other hand, if you focus on obstacles, you will encounter more obstacles. The truth is, it's not any harder to focus on love, abundance and dreams coming true than it is to focus on money issues, difficult relationships or your fears and worries. The key difference is that it simply takes practice. 
The first step is to pay attention to what you focus on and think about most of the time. Next, recognize that you have the power to choose your focus. Then, make a conscious decision to focus on the positive aspects of life. Everything in your life is influenced by where you place your focus. Therefore, it's wise to focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. Concentrate on what you have, not what you lack. Think about what you like, not what you dislike. Focus on what feels good, not what feels bad. Direct your attention to the solution, not the problem. Emphasize abundance, not scarcity. Focus on having what you truly desire, rather than settling for less. Pay attention to where you are going, not where you've been. Consider Michael Jordan making a game-winning three-pointer. Itzhak Perlman hitting the perfect note on the violin. Or Warren Buffett carefully analyzing financial statements. What do these incredible individuals have in common? They all concentrate intensely on their goals. They have mastered the power of focus. So what are you currently focusing on? Unsure? Take a look at your life. Your life is a clear reflection of where you place your focus. If you're happy with what you see, that's wonderful. Keep up the good work. If there are areas that need improvement, no worries. You can change your life by shifting your focus. As you start to focus more on what you want and less on what you don't want, you become the conscious creator of your own beautiful life. Since your focus shapes your reality, wouldn't you agree that it's important to master the art of focus? With the law of attraction and the magic of focus, you really can be, do and have whatever you desire. Next, the magic of momentum. Success requires first expending 10 units of effort to produce one unit of results. Your momentum will then produce 10 units of results for each unit of effort. Charles J. Givens Momentum, often called the Big Mo, is truly magical. In a political campaign, the leading candidate is said to have momentum on their side. In business, momentum is what pushes a company into high gear. In sports, the team with momentum has the upper hand and seems unstoppable. You know when you've got it, you feel lucky, you're in the right place at the right time, and everything you touch turns to gold. Momentum is a powerful force in sports, politics, business and life. It's something you definitely want working for you. When you start something new, whether it's a business, an exercise routine or learning a new skill, it can be slow at first. You might be putting in a lot of effort with little visible progress. The beginning of any journey, from where you are to where you want to be, can be the hardest, and you might feel like giving up. But if you quit too soon, you'll miss out on the magic of momentum. The key is to keep going until momentum kicks in. Knowing that momentum will eventually help you can keep you going until it does. Building momentum is like riding a bicycle. It takes a lot more effort to get the bike moving than it does to keep it going. But once you're in motion, things start to shift and you find yourself in the zone. At that point, it takes much less effort to keep moving forward because momentum carries you along. Momentum is why the rich tend to get richer and the poor get poorer. It works both ways. Whether momentum works for you or against you depends on the direction of your thoughts. Imagine you're starting a business and want customers. If you stay focused on your goal, even when progress is slow, customers will eventually start coming. As they do, you'll feel more optimistic and expect even more customers. This positive expectation will attract more business, creating a snowball effect of success. But what happens if you lose focus before you see results? You might get discouraged and start thinking about failure. This isn't going to work. I'll have to give up soon. I'm a failure. These negative thoughts make you feel terrible and you're ready to quit. According to the law of attraction, this defeatist attitude will drive potential customers away as they can't connect with your negative energy. So how can you harness the magic of momentum in your life? Let's use the bicycle metaphor to explain. 1. Get a bicycle. Decide what goal you want to achieve. Two, start pedaling. Focus on your dream, feel good about it, and take inspired action. Three, keep pedaling. Stay focused, keep feeling good, 
and continue taking action towards your goal. Don't worry, things are about to get easier. 4. Enjoy the ride. Congratulations, you kept going until momentum kicked in, and now you're coasting, just as a bicycle gains speed going downhill. Once you get momentum on your side, life becomes much easier. Direct your thoughts towards your goal, and keep moving forward until you reach the tipping point. Then, sit back and enjoy the ride. With the law of attraction and the magic of momentum working for you, you truly can be, do, and have whatever you desire. Next, the magic of plugging in. You can extract from that infinite storehouse within you everything you need in order to live life gloriously, joyously, and abundantly. Joseph Murphy The law of attraction promises that you can be, do, and have whatever you desire, right? But there's a catch. You can achieve all of this when you're connected, when you're plugged into Source, God, your inner being, or a higher power. Plugging in is essential for making the law of attraction work for you. When you tap into Source energy, you can transform illness into vibrant health, scarcity into endless abundance, and difficult relationships into harmonious ones. It's how you create the amazing life you desire and deserve. Plugging into Source Energy begins with understanding who you really are. You are a physical extension of Source Energy, with access to the limitless powers of the universe. You are a master creator, constantly shaping your life according to your thoughts and feelings. You are an eternal being, deserving of everything you wish for. Since oneness is your natural state, plugging in is simply about allowing that connection to happen. There are many ways to do this, through prayer, meditation, spending time in nature, or anything else that makes you feel good. The better you feel, the more connected you are. When you're plugged in, you have the full support of the universe. You're no longer struggling to do everything on your own. Instead, you become one with all that exists, no longer feeling separate or alone. You gain access to your divine inheritance, making everything you desire available to you. Plugging in is the cure for powerlessness. When you connect to the unlimited power of the universe, you're truly empowered to manifest your desires. Disconnected, you're powerless. Plugged in, you're powerful. When you connect to the power source of all that is, you really can be, do, and have whatever you desire. Next, the magic of creating your own reality. We want you to show yourself your power. We want you to remember who you are. We want you to remember that you are the creator of your own experience. Abraham Hicks How do you feel when someone tells you, you create your own reality? If you're happy with your life, you might smile and think, yes, I did that. But if you're unhappy, you might feel upset and say, I didn't create this. I would never choose this. However, the law of attraction says that you are always creating your own reality with your thoughts and feelings every single day. The big question is, are you doing it on purpose or is it happening without you realizing it? The reality you see around you is like a mirror showing you what you think and feel. The good news is that even if you don't like what you see right now, you can start changing it right away. When you learn how to create your reality on purpose, you don't have to accept things that make you unhappy or settle for a life that's less than what you want. Since nothing is permanent and everything is always changing, you can begin right now to create the life you truly want, step by step. Just like a builder constructs a house brick by brick. When you choose thoughts that make you feel good, you create situations that make you feel good. So, creating your own reality on purpose starts by focusing on thoughts that feel good. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Abraham Lincoln Creating your own reality on purpose starts with understanding that what you think and feel is connected to what happens in your life. The next step is to use the law of attraction, which you may already know about. The key is to keep your mind on what you want and stay in a good mood. What you focus on grows, so if you focus on what you want, it will eventually come true. As you keep focusing on feeling good, 
more of your life will start to show the good things you're feeling inside and you'll experience the happiness of creating your reality on purpose. What kind of life do you really want? You can be, do and have whatever you wish as long as you focus on what you want. It really is that simple. When you create your reality on purpose, life becomes full of joy, freedom and happiness. I believe you can do it, and I know you'll love the results when you do. Next, the magic of letting go. Letting go is a big part of allowing things to happen, and it might be the hardest part. When I say letting go, I mean stopping the urge to force things to happen. To create what you want, the law of attraction needs your effort, like setting your intention, focusing on what you want, feeling good, and taking inspired actions. But after that, you need to let go and let the universe do its work. In other words, you need to take action, but not push too hard. You have to care about the outcome, but also be willing to trust that things will work out. Many of us were taught that hard work leads to success, and if you want something done right, do it yourself. These ideas come from a good place and aim to help us succeed, but they can hold us back because they don't consider the power of letting go. It's important to understand that the law of attraction is like a partnership between you and the universe. Your job is to decide what you want and feel as if you already have it. The universe's job is to bring it to you in the best way and at the right time. Stop worrying about how it will happen and trust that it will. To let go is to let God. Marianne Williamson Letting go of the need to control how things turn out helps the universe bring you what you want more quickly and easily. It can be hard to relax and let go when you really want something, but the more you can trust the process and let go, the smoother it will be for the law of attraction to work. Letting go also means releasing any resistance you might have. If you have doubts, fears or beliefs that go against what you want, you're sending mixed signals, which can slow down or block the process of getting what you desire. To let go of this resistance, change those negative thoughts and beliefs into positive ones and trust that what you want is already on its way to you. Letting go means not being too attached to the outcome. When you're too focused on a specific result, you might try to force things to happen in a certain way and within a certain time, which can lead to frustration and stress. Instead, let go and trust that the universe is working things out in the best possible way. Even if things don't seem to be going as planned, trust that everything is happening perfectly. When you let go and allow the universe to do its part, you make room for your desires to come true. It's like planting a seed and then letting it grow without constantly checking on it. Trust that the seed is growing as it should and let go of worrying about the outcome. By letting go, you allow the magic of the law of attraction to work and your desires can come to you in ways that might be even better than you imagined. With the law of attraction and the power of letting go on your side, you really can be, do, and have whatever you want. In 1987, Jim Carrey was a struggling comedian and part-time dishwasher with big dreams of fame and fortune. Along with using affirmations and visualizations, he wrote himself a check for $10 million dollars, dated it Thanksgiving 1995, and noted it was for acting services rendered. In the fall of 1995, he reached his goal when he signed a $10 million contract to film The Mask. Another important step is to take inspired action. Listen to your inner voice and follow the guidance you receive. This is how you truly work together with the universe. You don't have to do everything alone, your intuition will guide you step by step toward your goal. Finally, you need to persevere. To achieve your big goal, you have to stay committed. If your goal is driven by a strong desire, you'll be able to push through doubts and difficulties. Remember, what you focus on in your mind will eventually become reality. Thomas Edison had a big goal to create the electric light bulb. He didn't give up, even after 10,000 failed attempts and finally succeeded in making his dream a reality. If you don't have a dream, how are you going to have a dream come true? From the movie, South Pacific, 
Fill your mind with your main goal and keep it at the centre of your thoughts. Imagine the end result, feel it and believe that you already have it. Your main goal is like a detailed plan that will guide you step by step toward making it real. It acts as a bridge between your dreams and reality. As you follow these steps, remember to stay positive and keep your energy high. When you focus on your goal and keep your eyes on the prize, you'll tap into the powerful magic of achieving your main goal. Keep your eyes on the prize is a phrase that resonates deeply with the law of attraction. It's simple but powerful. Focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. When you keep your focus on your goal, you enter a state where all your desires are ready for you to align with them. Stay focused on your goal. Keep your spirits high. Don't let doubt or disappointment take over. That goal is yours to achieve. For example, if you're in real estate or any business that's struggling due to economic conditions, what should you do? Keep your eyes on the prize. Focus on what you want instead of negative reports and gloomy predictions. By doing this, you create your own success and attract motivated buyers and sellers. If your goal is to improve relationships or find that special someone, keeping your eyes on the prize means not giving up, not settling for less, and not finding excuses for why you can't have the relationships you want. When you stay focused on your relationship goals, you naturally attract the best connections into your life. For health and fitness goals, whether it's overcoming an illness or losing a few extra pounds, what should you do? Keep your eyes on the prize. Visualize yourself healthy and fit. Imagine how it feels to live in a strong, healthy body, and soon enough it will be yours. Yes, it takes practice to go from being an observer of your life to being its creator, but it's worth it. As Abraham Hicks says, fire up the passion of your imagination and feel the vividness of your creation. Keeping your eyes on the prize is the most important skill you can develop. This is how anyone who has ever achieved a dream has done it. And you can do it too. Keep your eyes on the prize, stay positive, expect good things to happen, and that prize will be yours. Next, the magic of guarding your vibration. There is nothing wrong with you that cannot be fixed by what is right with you. Michael Neal Recognizing your vibration as a valuable treasure only hints at how important it is in your life. Even things like fame and fortune are not as valuable. Everything you experience comes to you based on your vibration. If you want to live the life you dream of, it's important to treat your vibration as your most precious possession. Your vibration is made up of your thoughts, beliefs, attitudes and feelings. It's the energy that attracts people and situations into your life. A high vibration brings in the things you want, while a low vibration draws in what you don't want. Here are some ways to protect your valuable vibration. First, be aware. To be a conscious creator of your life, you need to be fully aware, which means not going through life on autopilot. When you're mindful, you create your life on purpose, not by accident. Manage your vibration with awareness and become the deliberate creator you truly are. Second, think positive thoughts. In every moment you have a choice about what thoughts to think and these choices shape your reality. Good thoughts lead to good feelings which attract good things. Be the guardian of your mind and don't let negative thoughts take over. Third, focus on the positive. Make it a habit to see the positive in everyone and everything. Focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. Focus on what feels good, not what feels bad. Look for abundance, not scarcity. Continuously seek out the best aspects of your life and direct your attention there. Protecting your vibration isn't something you do passively. It's an active process of constantly tuning and retuning your energy to feel good. It's a conscious decision to keep focusing on what you want. In the end, creating a great life is simply about choosing great thoughts. By guarding your vibration and reaching for the best feeling thoughts you can find, you're building the wonderful life you desire and deserve one thought at a time. To have the best day ever, think the best thoughts ever.
Next, the magic of intention. Our intention creates our reality. Wayne Dyer. There are many great methods to help us use the law of attraction to become more aware of how we create our lives. One of my favorite methods is setting intentions because it's one of the easiest and most powerful ways to manifest what we want. When I learned about Lynn McTaggart's book, The Intention Experiment, Using Your Thoughts to Change Your Life and the World, the book explains that we are living in a new era where science recognizes that our thoughts can influence the physical world. For many of us, this isn't new information, but it's exciting to see science confirm what we already know spiritually and through our experiences. McTaggart explains the science behind intention by showing that a thought is a real physical thing, an actual energy. Every thought, intention and judgment we have can shape reality. We're all connected. Our minds affect the world around us, whether or not we are consciously trying to do so. This means that simply thinking can create change. Meditation can lead to lasting emotional benefits, make the brain happier and sharpen intuition. Just thinking about an action can produce the same mental effects as actually doing it. For instance, athletes who only imagine their workouts can increase their muscle strength by over 13% in just a few weeks. McTaggart uses the example of Muhammad Ali, who was a master at using intention. He used visualization, mental rehearsal, and his powerful affirmation, I am the greatest, to become a world champion. Just like top athletes use mental rehearsal to improve their performance, you can improve your health, enhance your abilities in any area of life, and shape your future through conscious intention. When you set positive intentions, you focus your energy and attract the situations that will create the reality you want. By intentionally focusing your thoughts, you take creative control of your life. As you identify your desires and direct your thoughts, you are using the law of attraction to bring what you want into your life, rather than what you don't want. Setting intentions is a powerful way to design and create the life you desire. It's a great idea to start each day by setting positive intentions. For example, you might say, Today I intend to feel good, be filled with joy and appreciation, choose thoughts and experiences that please me, Attract amazing prosperity, vibrant health, and fulfilling relationships. Stay connected to source energy, uplift others, and welcome a continuous stream of well-being. Science is now showing the incredible power you have to consciously create your life with your thoughts. By using the magic of intention and focusing on what you do want, you strongly attract everything you desire into your life. So think big knowing that there is nothing you can't be, do or have and guide your life with the power of intention. Next, the magic of releasing limiting beliefs. Like each of us, I've been hired by the universe to be myself. Michael Beckwith. I am good enough. I am lovable. It's okay to live my dream. These are powerful statements. These moments are truly special. They realize what has been stopping them and release a lifetime of resistance with a deep sense of certainty. They boldly tell the universe, this is my life. I am worthy. I deserve to have what I want. Michael Beckwith talks beautifully about how, as a child, he realized that the person his family saw wasn't the real Michael. He remembers the moment he decided to hide his true self to fit in and make others comfortable. While each of us has our own story, the outcome is often the same. We start seeing ourselves the way others see us, not as who we really are. We get used to disappointment. We accept living without the money, health or relationships we dream of. Sometimes we might even stop dreaming, just to avoid the pain. But there's one problem with that. It never feels right to settle, to give up on what we want. There's a constant struggle inside us when we hold on to limiting beliefs. Part of us knows we're meant to have desires and that the universe is supposed to fulfill them. But another part of us has been convinced that we can't really have what we want, at least not without working incredibly hard or being very lucky. This inner conflict continues every day 
until we get rid of the limiting beliefs that stop us from living our truth, that we can have what we want, that life is meant to inspire our desires, and that we are co-creating with the universe to fulfill them. The truth is, the universe is always working to fulfill our desires. We just can't receive them until we allow ourselves to. And so, we begin to believe that we can. We let go of I can't and reconnect with what our true self has always known. Yes, I can. I have the power to choose. Deep down we know this, no matter how much we try to bury it with food, numb it with drugs, or escape it with distractions. It's always there, whispering to us. I really can have it all. I am free. Until we release and replace these limiting beliefs, they will continue to influence every thought, choice, and decision we make. Limiting beliefs block the manifestation of our desires and our natural state of well-being. When I help my clients shine a light on their limiting beliefs, they are able to break free and reclaim their power, freedom and joy. They begin to say, it's okay to live my life. I do deserve the good things in life. It's okay to have money. Once a negative belief is let go, a positive, empowering, yes, I can naturally takes its place. And with that, everything changes. We reconnect with who we really are and who we're meant to be and life becomes fun, just as we always knew it could be. We live in a universe full of abundance, limited only by our beliefs. When we change these underlying beliefs, everything else changes too. When we replace negative limiting beliefs with joyful empowering ones, we let go of the resistance to our natural state of well-being. Then the struggle ends, and we reconnect with our true selves. When we release limiting beliefs, we realign with our source and confidently declare, I am magnificent. I can have what I want. Yes, I can. Next, the magic of yes. The big question is whether you are going to be able to say a hearty yes to your adventure. Joseph Campbell I think I finally get it. There's no one else out there deciding whether or not we can have what we want. There's no one granting or denying our desires. It's all up to us. We can choose to say yes to ourselves and attract what we want, or we can say no and push it away. When we choose the magic of yes, we let our dreams come true. To understand how powerful yes can be, let's look at where the word comes from. The word yes has roots in Old English and Indo-European languages, meaning so be it and may it be so. So when we say yes, we're really declaring let it happen. When we say yes, we're actively creating our lives based on what we truly want. Many of us grew up hearing the word no a lot. A UCLA study found that the average child hears no more than 400 times a day. No, you can't have another cookie. No, you can't stay up late. No, you can't have that new bike. No, you can't wear that to school. No, no, no. With all those no's drilled into us, it's no wonder we learn to limit ourselves. But now we can learn to say yes. And when we do, everything changes. Saying yes to ourselves fills us with energy and opens up life in magical ways. Happy, supportive people show up. Amazing opportunities come our way. Yes is the magic word that unlocks all the doors. If you've been saying no and keeping yourself from what you truly want, it's time to embrace the magic of yes. Whenever you catch yourself thinking no, stop and replace it with yes. Stop telling yourself no, let go of those limitations. It's your choice now. What will you choose? Here are some yes affirmations to help you start. As you say these positive statements, feel yourself living the life you want. Yes, I can manifest my desires. Yes, I am a powerful creator. Yes, I believe in myself. Yes, I am lovable. Yes, I am healthy, wealthy and wise. Yes, I accept and love myself completely. Yes, I am brilliant. Yes, I am happy. Yes, I feel really good. Yes, I can have the new car, the perfect partner, the ideal body. Say yes to having what you want. Say yes to following your bliss. Say yes to love, joy and adventure. Say yes to fun, prosperity and well-being. Say yes to feeling good. Say yes to living life fully. Say yes to your dreams coming true. Say a big yes to your journey. Empower, transform and free yourself by choosing the magic of yes. Next, the magic of enthusiasm. Make sure that your life is a rare entertainment. It doesn't take anything drastic. 
You needn't be gorgeous or wealthy or smart, just very enthusiastic. Bette Midler, welcome to the vibrant world of enthusiasm. When you step into this magical space, you're carried on a wave of energy that effortlessly brings you closer to your dreams and desires. Want more money? Get excited about it. Looking for your perfect relationship? Feel passionate about it. Enthusiasm and passion amplify your desires like a powerful signal, and the universe responds in kind. The word enthusiasm comes from the Greek meaning filled with God. How amazing is that? This shows that enthusiasm connects you to a higher source. It's the sparkle in your eye, the bounce in your step, the fire in your spirit that says, I'm alive, I know who I am, and I know what I want. Enthusiasm is being fully engaged and in tune with life's abundance. Nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. Ralph Waldo Emerson Enthusiasm is what separates the ordinary from the extraordinary, the mediocre from the outstanding. Whether in sports, politics, business or the arts, those who reach the top are always driven by enthusiasm. What greatness are you ready to achieve with the power of enthusiasm? Here's how to unleash the magic of enthusiasm in your life. Recognize that enthusiasm is your natural state, always present, like the sun behind the clouds. To connect with it, do what you love. Let your heart guide you. What have you always loved doing since you were a kid? What activities make you feel fully alive? What absorbs you so much that time flies by? Find those passions and give yourself permission to pursue them. Spend time with happy kids, playful pets and vibrant friends. Play and enjoy life. Don't wait for joy. Create it now. Life is meant to be fun, so embrace it today. Say yes more often. Take action now instead of waiting for someday. Follow your heart rather than your head. Be true to yourself and go after your big dreams without settling for less. Show up. As the song goes, when you have the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. A strong dose of enthusiasm can transform an average life into a magnificent one. Your enthusiasm acts as a powerful magnet, attracting your greatest good and deepest desires. Rediscover your natural joy. Let the universe know exactly what you want by focusing with all your enthusiasm. When you harness the power of enthusiasm, you'll find the support and energy to live your best life now. Next, the magic of excellent health. Our body is really the product of our thoughts. Dr. John Hagelin, quantum physicist. According to the law of attraction, you draw to yourself whatever you focus on, whether you want it or not. If you think about and picture yourself feeling full of energy and health, you're attracting good health. But if you constantly worry about getting sick and focus on stories of illness, you're actually attracting sickness. When you understand the link between what you're thinking and feeling and what shows up in your life, you become the creator of your own experiences. This means that achieving great health is just a thought away. Plato said 2,400 years ago, if you want to heal the body, you must first heal the mind. Today, science strongly supports the mind-body connection. More and more scientists agree that your thoughts shape your physical condition, meaning you can think yourself into illness or wellness. The first step to good health is realizing that well-being is your natural state. Physical health is no different from financial abundance, loving relationships or a successful career. The key question is always the same. Are you allowing your natural state of well-being or are you resisting it? Because your body is naturally designed to be healthy, pain, discomfort or illness are signals that something is blocking your energy. When you notice these signals, you can choose to release resistance and let well-being flow. So, how can you allow your natural state of well-being? Here are some tips. If you're not feeling well, whether it's a minor headache or a serious illness, start by relaxing and breathing deeply. Your body knows how to heal itself, and often the best thing you can do is to step aside and let it work. As you relax and breathe, you let go of resistance and allow well-being to flow smoothly again. Focus on health instead of illness. Deliberately think about the healthy body you want. Talk about health. Imagine it. 
Visualize it and expect it. If you feel any physical discomfort, it's a sign that your thoughts might be blocking your natural well-being. By paying attention to how you feel and aiming for a sense of relief, you can stop resistance before it leads to more serious health issues. If you're not currently in great health, it's empowering to know that you can change that by shifting your thoughts toward wellness. As you relax and breathe, look for reasons to be happy. Find people and things to appreciate. Love yourself and others. Notice how you feel and choose thoughts that make you feel better. This is how you allow your natural state of well-being. Next, the magic of commitment. Until one is committed, there is hesitancy, the chance to draw back, always ineffectiveness. Goethe. Commitment is often the key factor that determines whether you live the life of your dreams or settle for less than you truly want. Research shows that lack of commitment is the top reason people fail to reach their goals. As Guta wisely said, the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. When you're committed, obstacles become opportunities instead of reasons to give up. Commitment shifts your mindset from can I do this to I am doing this. With commitment, the universe starts working in your favour. As Guta pointed out, when you commit, things start to happen that wouldn't have happened otherwise. Commitment leaves no room for failure. So what's left? Success. To start tapping into the power of commitment, the first step is to get really clear about what you want and why you want it. True commitment requires a deep desire. It's also crucial to make sure that the dream you're committing to is your own, not someone else's. It has to come from your heart. Do you have a desire that's been sitting on the back burner for too long? Are you ready to commit to making it happen? To find out if you're ready to harness the magic of commitment, write down your answers to these questions. What exactly do I want to achieve? Be specific. Why do I want this? How will I feel when I reach this goal? Do I want it with passion? Is this my dream or someone else's? Am I willing to ask for help when I need it? Am I ready to stay focused and not give up even when it gets tough? Sometimes success is just one more day, one more action or one more person away. Am I excited about making this promise to myself? Can I enjoy the journey from where I am to where I want to be? If you answered yes to these questions with enthusiasm, then you're ready to make a wholehearted commitment. When you commit, you send out a strong vibration to the universe and the universe responds, your wish is my command. By committing, you're placing a clear order with the cosmic cafe and the cosmic chefs respond, coming right up. Commitment is an unwavering intention to succeed which activates the law of attraction to bring the right people and resources into your life to make your dream a reality. With the law of attraction and the power of commitment, you truly can be, do and have whatever you desire. Next, the magic of trust. When you trust, the current will carry you to all of the circumstances and events and experiences that you've been asking for. Abraham Hicks. Learning to trust is truly magical. But what do we mean by trust? Trust what? Trust source, God, your inner being. Trust the flow, trust your gut and your emotions. It's all of these things and more. For me, the best way to put it is, trust that everything is okay, even when it doesn't seem that way. Hold the vision and trust that the universe will acclimate to your vision. Hold the vision and trust the process. Abraham Hicks when I trust that all is well, I feel good. This means I'm connected with Source, which also means I'm in the vortex. Trusting that all is well helps me understand that if I don't get exactly what I want when I want it, it's because something even better is coming my way. Trusting that all is well frees me from judging everything as good or bad. It also makes the law of attraction work in my favour. When I trust, I stop stressing over the how, and focus on enjoying the journey of my life. So, how would your life change if you lived from a place of trust, calmly going with the flow? Here's a glimpse. Picture yourself floating peacefully down a river, 
relaxed and content. You trust the universe's perfect timing, so you let go of when. You trust the universe's perfect plan, so you let go of how. As you relax and go with the flow, you're connected to source, filled with life force energy for the ride. Trusting the stream to take you where you want to go, you feel the sweet relief of letting go of the oars and being carried gently along. Tuned in to guidance, intuition and inspiration, you take action with confidence, knowing that good things are always coming your way. Feeling safe, supported and peaceful, you let go of resistance and see your life as a grand adventure. Trusting in the natural order, you release the need for effort, hard work and struggle, and you float happily, gently down the stream. Doesn't that sound wonderful? As you practice trusting that all is well by choosing to believe it, your vibration shifts and the evidence starts to show up. With trust comes belief and expectation, along with the certainty that everything is working out for your highest good. When you trust that all is well, you allow your life to unfold with ease and grace. By holding your vision and trusting the stream to carry you to your desires, you align with the magic of trust and life becomes a delightful, delicious experience. The magic of telling a new story. As you tell the story the way you want it to be, the universe has to comply. It has to. Abraham Hicks. Whatever you're experiencing in your life is a direct reflection of the story you've been telling yourself. So, if you want to experience different circumstances in your life, start telling a different story. Instead of focusing on how your life is right now, how it was, or how you fear it might be. Start telling the story of your life the way you want it to be. This is how you take back your power to create the life you truly desire by using the magic of telling a new story. To begin, take a step back and really look at your life. Are your relationships fulfilling? How's your bank account looking? Do you love your work and feel good about your level of success? How about your health and fitness? If there are areas of your life that could use some improvement, it's time to tell a new story. Start each day by telling the story of your life the way you want it to be. Craft a new story that empowers you, one that works in your favour instead of against you. Everything you're living right now is a response to the story you've been telling, everything. As you think the thoughts and feel the emotions of living out your new empowering story, the circumstances and events in your life will start to change to match that new story. As you tell a new story, you invite new experiences into your life. Tell the story of your life the way you want it to be. Remember, you're the star, the central character, the lead in a production called Your Life. Here's an example of the kind of story you can tell. All is well in my world. I love my life and see it improving every day. I have joyful relationships with the wonderful, amazing and uplifting people around me. I feel good and look good. I love and appreciate my body. I enjoy vibrant health. I wake up excited and energized for each new day and everything I desire comes to me easily and joyfully. When you start telling a story that aligns with your dreams instead of your fears, you become a vibrational match to a grand and glorious adventure. Everything that fits your new story will start to show up in your life, and everything that doesn't will begin to fade away. You can tell what kind of story you've been telling by looking at your life. If your life doesn't look and feel the way you want it to, you've been telling a story about what you don't want. But as you start consistently telling the story of what you do want, you'll bring your life into alignment with those desires. As you start telling a new story and practice that new feeling, the universe will begin to show you signs that your new story is becoming real. It's your story, your choice, your life. When you talk about your life the way you want it to be and really feel it, you send out a powerful energy into the universe. And the universe will, without a doubt, bring you the situations and events that match your new and improved story. When you stop the habit of talking about your life as it is, and instead focus on talking about it the way you want it to be, you become the conscious creator of your reality. By tapping into the magic of telling a new story, 
You take control of your life and shape it the way you truly want. Next, the magic of asking. If you don't ask, you don't get. Simple as that. Want to know how to get what you want in life? You've got to ask for it. The law of attraction teaches that when you ask, you'll always receive. Here's how it works. One, you ask. Two, the universe says yes. Three, you allow it to happen. Since asking is the first step in making your dreams come true, let's dive into the magic of asking. Many of us grow up believing that we either can or can't get what we ask for, based on our childhood experiences. Then, we spend the rest of our lives proving ourselves right. If you were a kid who asked and received, you're likely to keep asking and receiving as an adult. But if you were a kid who asked and didn't get, you might stop asking altogether. However, if you understand that asking always leads to receiving, you can start asking with confidence and joy. Here are some tips to help you ask for what you want and actually get it. Ask with confidence and certainty. When you refuse to accept failure and won't take no for an answer, you're more likely to find a way to get what you want. Ask with determination and persistence. See rejection as just another step toward your goal. Persistence can turn a no into a yes. Ask clearly and precisely. When you ask for something specific and clear, you align yourself with what you want, and it comes to you more easily. To become even better at asking, stay focused on what you want, watch for signs that it's on its way, and don't give up. Stay positive, appreciate small wins, and be open to receiving what you asked for, even if it looks a little different, or even better, than you imagined. When you embrace the magic of asking, you eliminate missed opportunities and regrets. Ask for what you want. Ask for the sale, ask for the raise, ask for help around the house, ask for the job, ask for a discount, ask for a better interest rate, ask for a date, ask for a friend, ask for a promotion, ask to be of service, just ask. Then take it a step further. Visualize, feel and believe that you already have what you're asking for. And don't forget to ask for help from the universe. There's an endless supply of guidance, advice and support available to you at all times, tailored just for you. With the law of attraction and the magic of asking, you become the conscious creator of your life. And it all begins with asking. Thank you for listening.